Well, Matt, probably fair to say that we've had some fairly memorable games down here uh, this season. Probably fair to say tonight's not going to be one of those that re re remains in the memory for so long. Uh, no, um, but it will be uh, in my memory come the end of the season because I think this is a great point for us tonight. Um, when, when you're adding points up at the end of the season, looking back at results uh, against them, a good size that they are, um, with the centre forwarder they've just signed from Millwall, a championship player all, all his career, uh, how well we dealt with him. Um, on, a, on a difficult pitch, our pitch is just, we're just trying to get the, the water back on. It's very hard, it's very bobbly, it bounces up a lot, it's very hard to try and get the ball down. Uh, it doesn't make it a great spectacle at times, but we're, we're certainly working on that. Um, but the, again, a, a breezy night, uh, and we had the win first half, and I thought we were grew into the half and I thought we were the, the more likely to score and I was disappointed that we didn't really you know we've, we've had several chances Davies hit the side netting um, we, we looked to threat and then the, the one Donovan hitting the post at the end so I'm disappointed we didn't go into the lead at half time but I also knew what a tough second half we were in for I knew that um, King would be kicking it from box to box I knew Smith was going to be a real handful Asante is a real live wire and he, he's constantly uh, getting onto the second balls uh, and you could see that in the first 10 minutes how they started and if you'd have offered me a nil-nil after after 55 minutes, I just snapped your hand off. So I was absolutely pleased that um, that we got the point and the clean sheet. And in, in games like that, so when you don't win them, it's important not to lose them. And you can't can't remember Dean making a save any more than you remember the Salford keeper making a no, save, really. No, no. And like you say, it was, okay, it wasn't a great spectacle. Unfortunately, over 46 games, just sometimes there's not great spectacles. And maybe tonight wasn't one. Um, but I couldn't care less to be honest. It's another great point on the road for uh, another great point for us. Another clean sheet for us. Uh, and the centre halves. Uh, the back four, the characters as a group, losing Eastie, uh, shuffling the pack around. Ben White coming on was outstanding. Just, uh, just another real good show from us and a real good character uh, and another great point and keeps us on 11 unbeaten. You had to, um, brought John Barden into the midfield tonight with Kenny Davis not in, not in the side. Was that a reaction from the knock he'd had on Saturday? Yeah, at, at early second half when he got a bang into the ribs. So uh, when he was lying down winded there, so he, he was still struggling with his ribs there. Uh, so that was why Kenny, but he's not too bad and, and Ali's back in training as well. So And good to see Bards back in the back in the back in the lineup and go a decent account of himself in midfield. Yeah, definitely. He had to show it a right back. Uh, unfortunately, we dipped in and out a little bit because he freshened it up, but then he got COVID. So he's, he's missed a little period, um, but he, we know he can go and play centre midfield for us as well. And then as, as can Rob, uh, when, we, when we push him inside as well, and then Ben White comes on and, and plays like he does, does. So we've got real good flexibility within our squad uh, and I'm, I'm really pleased with that. And more reshuffling halfway through the second half. Craig had to come off. What's the issue? There? I'm not sure exactly what he did. He just got a knock in. I didn't have a chance to speak to him. You know, I'm still trying to shuffle the pack and organise. I'll speak to him in a minute when I go in and see exactly what it is. But uh, no, he, when, when he says he's, he's not quite right, you know, that's, you know, he's, uh, he can't continue for sure. So, um, no, as I say, shuffled the pack around a little bit, but still had our little moments and still looked a threat from set pieces. And, and Enzio, Tanto, Enzio looked a threat and, and David, you know, just bobbling up around for him a little bit. But uh, as I say, I think this is a great point for us. And takes us on to, to Saturday's game against Forest Green, the league leaders coming down. As you say, I'm beating 11 and a good test to see if we can extend that. Yeah, yeah, they're obviously a good side. The table doesn't lie, certainly after this uh, stage of the season. So it'd be a really tough game for us, but we, we felt really uh, hard done by uh, with their late winner on the first, on the opening game of the season. Um, we'll be doing our homework, uh, getting prepared as we do, and we'll look forward to the test. And 49 points now, just one more to go. Yeah, and hopefully it's uh, at least that on Saturday. Brilliant. Well, thanks a lot, Matt. Cheers. Brilliant. Thanks Thank a lot. Cheers.